In this video, I want to talk about NVIDIA's next generation flagship graphics card for gamers, GeForce RTX 4090. A lot of information about it has leaked from multiple trustworthy sources, so I decided to put it all together into one easily digestible piece and share some of my insights as well. Let's have a look at the RTX 4090 specs, gaming performance at 4K and 1440p resolution, as well as the release date. Before that, buy your Windows 10 license for less at cdkoffers.com using the link in the description below. Use code IV20 for an additional 20% off and safely check out with PayPal for instant delivery. Let's start with the specifications. RTX 4090 GPU will be manufactured on a TSMC 5nm node. That is a decent upgrade over the Samsung 8 nanometers currently used for RTX 3090. Nvidia will achieve better performance and power efficiency by switching to 5 nanometers. However, most gains will come from the new Lovelace Micro architecture that will be replacing Ampere. RTX 4090 will feature 18,432 CUDA cores. That is 75% more than in RTX 3090. Don't expect serious upgrades to the video memory. It will be 24 GB of slightly faster, most likely 21 gigabit per second GDDR6X across a 384-bit bus. GPU core clock is rumored to be as high as 2.2 GHz, which is a significant improvement over the current 1.4 GHz base and 1.7 GHz boost on RTX 3090. RT and Tensor cores will be improved for better ray tracing performance and even more FPS gains from enabling DLSS. As you might have heard, the industry is moving towards making multi-chip GPUs. It means that two or more graphics processing units can be packaged together on the same board to work as one without incurring large performance penalties that were associated with SLI and Crossfire multi-GPU technologies in the past. AMD has already released the first product to the HPC and data center markets using this technology. Consumer-grade products are expected to hit the shelves in the second half of 2022. Nvidia is expected to start using this technology in their GPUs soon as well, but RTX 4090 is not going to be that product. Most likely, we will see this tech in RTX 5090 or one of Nvidia's data center products first. RTX 4090 power consumption specs are still far from finalized, but RTX 40 series is expected to be more power hungry than the current RTX 30 series graphics cards. TDP could reach 500 or more watts, or Nvidia could decide to lower it below 500. What we know for sure is that it will be over 400 watts, which is not surprising because some custom RTX 3090s already use over 400 watts right now. By the way, the upcoming AMD Radeon RX 7900 XT flagship graphics card is also rumored to consume 400 or more watts. So, it looks like power-hungry graphics cards will be the new normal in the industry. Now about the performance. RTX 4090 will be getting a very nice FPS improvement between 60 and 80% compared to RTX 3090. Let's have a look at the 4K resolution performance estimates first and then move on to 1440p. 4090 will be able to run well-optimized games such as Doom Eternal at or close to 400 FPS at 4K resolution using the highest quality graphics preset. Even extremely GPU-demanding Cyberpunk 2077 will run quite well, up to 95 FPS on high preset. Watch Dogs Legion is another game where more powerful GPU is highly desired by players who want to max out the graphics quality settings at 4K. In Assassin's Creed Valhalla, RTX 4090 will allow Nvidia to reclaim the top performing graphics card spot currently occupied by RX 6900 XT. While performing competitive games, such as Rainbow Six Siege, should open up an opportunity for the monitor manufacturers to develop 4K, 240Hz or even faster displays. I just hope that DisplayPort and HDMI standards will be able to keep up, because they were kind of slow to upgrade in the past several years. If you have a 144Hz 4K monitor, then you will finally be able to utilize it to the maximum in older AAA titles without the help of DLSS. 
However, newer games will still require to lower the graphics quality or use DLSS to get a smooth 144Hz experience. For those of you who already own or plan to buy a 1440p 240Hz monitor, RTX 4090 will be a welcome upgrade. You should be able to max out the graphics settings in older AAA games such as Shadow of the Tomb Raider, Horizon Zero Dawn and Death Stranding while running at above 240fps, as long as the game engine and CPU are able to handle it. Unfortunately, RTX 1490 will still not be enough to reach that 240fps sweet spot in GPU-demanding titles. Assassin's Creed Valhalla is the worst offender on the list, with RTX 3090 performance far behind the RX 6900 XT. RTX 4090 will remedy this problem. Well, at least until AMD's next-gen GPUs arrive. Cyberpunk 2077 and Watch Dogs Legion share almost identical performance. I expect that it will be impossible to break the 200 FPS barrier at 1440p in these games without the help of DLSS and possibly even lowering some graphics quality settings. The RTX 4090 release date is currently set for quarter 4 2022. Some sources are saying that it will be revealed in October 2022. However, a lot can change between now and then, so get subscribed for updates. By the way, AMD is also planning to release their next-gen graphics cards in Q4 2022. I am currently working on a video about it and will put it up on the screen here as soon as it is ready. In the meantime, like this video if you enjoyed it. It was I, Vadim. Until next time.